Hey y'all, here's a new recipe of chicken and tomatoes in a creamy spinach sauce. So here are the ingredients. We have garlic powder, onion powder, black pepper, salt, Italian seasoning, chicken bouillon, red pepper flakes, olive oil, Parmesan cheese, spinach. We have some spaghetti, Roma tomatoes, about seven there, some garlic parsley, a shallot, some heavy cream, and some flour. So this is gonna be kind of a difficult dish. So I'm gonna take about one cup of the flour Season it up with some onion powder, garlic powder, black pepper, and Italian seasoning. My chicken is in the fridge that has also be, been se seasoned, excuse me, and I butterflied the chicken breast because they were fairly thick, okay? Next up, you're going to see me place the shallots and the garlic and some butter and olive oil, by the way. I'm going to go ahead and lightly coat the chicken breast and some flour. Now, you don't want to drench this because we ain't frying chicken, girl. We're just going to lightly bread it. I'm going to place in a cast iron skillet. Now, I let this go in the cast iron skillet for about 15 minutes, but because they are still so thick, I did place it in a 365 degree oven for an additional 15 minutes. So this is what it looks like. It looks so good. Next up, place in the seven Roma tomatoes that have been split down the middle and seasoned also. I do have some chicken stock on the back burner going away. I'm going to end up adding I would say about half a cup of chicken stock, almost one cup overall. I like to look at the dish before I add any more liquid to make sure it's not too um, soupy, I should say. So here is the chicken stock again, slowly adding it, just eyeballing it, you guys. So I did add about, I say three fourths, three fourths of a cup over, overall. So this is what it looks like, boiling away for a couple of minutes. Add one cup of spinach going to add about one fourth of a cup of the heavy cream you can use half and half if you want to this is going to take it to a whole nother level of creaminess okay add some parsley again bubbling away this is what it looks like close up oh my god so good i served this on top of some spaghetti i hope you guys enjoyed this video take care bye